Hey guys and welcome back. It's round 13 today of season 2 of our F1 2011 playthrough. We've got the Italian Grand Prix at Monza. The Temple of Speed It's always a very quick, straight to the point race. Not many corners of course. Uh, some people like the circuit. I like the circuit. Some people dislike the circuit. We're chasing the championship in our Williams. Make sure to get subscribed if you're not already subscribed. I think we're about to hit 8,000 subscribers. Big numbers. Let's check out the championship standings. So our lead was cut down after the Belgian Grand Prix because we didn't finish too high up. I think we got 8th place in the end. Uh, so we're on 192 points. Mark Webber now in 2nd place is on 141. So we are just over 50 points clear of Mark Webber. Who, uh, as we know in the F1 2010 playthrough, is a very good driver. He's won 3 championships in our Codemasters career mode series. We've only won the one, the single championship in 2009. We're aiming for our second one this season. The Constructors Championship, unfortunately we lost the lead to Vodafone, McLaren, Mercedes. So we've slipped down to second place and we're not actually too far ahead of Ferrari and Red Bull. They'll be chasing us down towards the end of this season. Enough talk, let's get into the race weekend. The Temple of Speed in glorious sunny weather here, hosting round 13 of the championship. It all starts here in qualifying. Got out there nice and early. We should only really need one lap to get through if the Williams car is up to the task, of course. Let's find out. Bit too wide into the first corner on my first lap here. Did not hit either of the apexes, so that's a great start. The rest of the lap was fairly clean. I didn't have a, the cleanest run through Ascari. That's the first lap on the ball of 22.8. I think I'll just go for another one here. That's it. That's the better lap. Hopefully it's enough for me to get through. 22.2. It's actually seven tenths down on what Perez has set, which is incredible. Okay, not sure what Perez has had for breakfast, but he's still the fastest driver after the two McLarens have set a lap time as well. Mark Webber's down in ninth. I think I've fallen down to 11th place. Still a few drivers yet to actually set uh, representative times. We still did enough to get through. I simulated to the end of the session. We're 14th place. There's James Early. Uh, Ribbons Barrichello knocked out alongside the two Virgins, the two Team Lotus drivers and the two HRTs with Karthik Kane making up the back of the grid. But Perez, after that, is in 4th place. What a fantastic lap that was from the Sauber driver. I know there's still a lot of time on the board to make up, but it might be a tough qualifying two sessions to actually get through. Top 10 get through to Q3, as you all know. Well, I suppose most of you will know that. And that's what we'll be aiming for. I left it all on the circuit there with that lap. Is it enough? But it's a 21-3. I think that's almost a whole second quicker than what we did in uh, Q1. So I believe that should be enough. Comfortably through in the end, with Button going fastest. Unfortunately, Sergio Perez... Uh, just completely forgot how to drive for that second qualifying session. So he's down in 13th, knocked out alongside his team teammate Kobayashi. Alcaswari also knocked out Rosberg, Buemi, De Resta and Sutter. The big shock there is Nico Rosberg down in 14th. His teammate Michael Schumacher making it through into Q3. We're going to have one go at this. Fernando Alonso has set a 20.4 as his benchmark, which is more than three quarters of a second faster than the current second place man. Fernando Alonso performing well here in the Ferrari in front of their home crowd. But purple through the first sector. Purple through the first sector. Can we keep it up? As we now approach the second sector line. Are we still up? No, we're not. And I forgot to break. Brilliant. That's ruined. The, <laughs> that's completely ruined the lap. We were half a second down anyway. But it's not going to be pole position. Can we at least get a top five? That's where we were in Q2. It's third place. Third place is Alonso, Schumacher, and early the top three. And surprisingly, that's how it's finished. Fernando Alonso claims an unbelievable pole position. It's surprising, though, because I know Jensen Button got into the 20s in Q2, and he's down there in seventh place with a 21-9. So he just did not get it together. But it's a Ferrari on pole with a Mercedes in second, a Williams third, and a Lotus Renault in fourth. Mark Webber, my nearest challenger in the championship, Starts from 5th ahead of uh, Lewis Hamilton there in 6th place. Button, Massa, Vettel and Petrov complete the top 10. Let's move on to the race. Race day here in the Royal Park. Uh, near Milan in Italy. It's Monza. It's going to be fast and furious. Let's see who gets to the first corner first. 
it's going to be a very quick race in terms of actual average speed as well as the time it actually takes to complete it unless there are i don't know safety cars or red flags to mix things up there's no rain on the radar and it'll be a three-stop strategy uh starting on the options pitting on lap six for another set of the options then pitting on lap 12 for the primes pitting on lap 20 for the options to close out the race and it's a circuit that you lose a lot of time going through the pits spa we were quite lucky it was a three stop we probably should have done a two stop uh, but spa you don't lose too much through the pits monza you do lose quite a bit through the pits uh, but we're going with what the strategy the team give me it's a three stop let's get into this one well there's only one more thing to do and that's go racing the 2011 italian grand prix is next this is going to be a crazy start such a long run down to turn one as well and anything can happen as the lights appear three four and five the italian grand prix is underway trying to limit the wheel spin as best i can and get the curves activated down towards turn one schumacher might have a run here on alonso if we slam on the brakes here, there's the Mercedes on the inside of the Ferrari. Alonso gives him loads of space and then cuts across turn two. Heidfeld's moved past me. So has Weber. Hamilton potentially out of the race, missing a front wing. There's somebody on my inside into turn one who also lost a load of carbon fiber. Not sure who that was. Kobayashi now up to sixth place as the run down towards the Della Rocha chicane for the first time. Alonso muscled down to fourth as Heidfeld's up to second. And Michael Schumacher running away with it at the front here. Weber's looking for a move on Heidfeld. Heidfeld defends the inside. Weber to the outside. And Alonso's going to make it three wide. As we head down towards turn one, Alonso outbreaks both of them. And is going to retake second place. Fantastic move from the Ferrari driver. Heidfeld not too quick on the exit of the first chicane. But I can't get the run out of the corner. A bit of wheel spin there. And we remain in fifth place. In fact, I'm going to dump a load of curves here. See if I can get him into the Della Roggia chicane. How brave do I dare be on the brakes? Heidfeld's braver. He almost ran into Weber with that. Oh, I might be in trouble here. Here comes Rosberg. And uh, he's just gone past, straight past me with the slipstream. DRS not even enabled yet. And Kobayashi's outbroke me. And somebody's lost the wing up front. I think that's Heidfeld running into Weber. What is going on here? Well, I'm going to retake all the positions I just lost. Heidfeld pulling off to the side to retire. And Weber is... Oh, Weber's lost his front wing. Disaster for the championship contender. Uh, but uh, that's good for me. If you want an example of how lucky I've been this season. Just look at that. I lost two positions going down towards turn one. And then I gained four positions on the exit of turn one. We're up into the podium places. Oh, I've hit carbon fibre on the floor. That happens quite a bit in this game. I think it actually affects the AI more than it affects me. Because I've got no damage from that. Bloody hell, Rosberg's gone to my outside for Parabolica. It's not going to work out there, son. Definitely not going to work out there. The Mercedes, though, he's trying it. And he's side by side with me on the exit. And he's made it work. He's going to have a load more top speed down the straight. And he's got DRS. I'm going to dump the curse, though. See if I can have a run under braking into turn one. Maybe I'm going to send it. I think I'm going to send it. Down the inside we go on Rosberg. Oh, God, I've gone way too deep. Way too deep. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Yeah, I've got a penalty. That's, uh, I thought I would, yeah. Yeah. Oh, dear. I think maybe I should have cut across the chicane. I was trying to follow the rules and stay on the track. Maybe that was a bad idea. That was my fault. I deserve that penalty. Possibly the worst track to get a drive through penalty on as well. Because you lose so much time with this pit lane. But I'll serve it now. Uh, serving it from third place and rejoining in eighth place behind my teammate who's battling with the rest of the sixth. Tyres are absolutely destroyed already and we are boxing this lap. It's only up six. We've already been into the pits once and that was on the previous lap to serve the penalty. Right, boxing from eighth place in this one and rejoining in twelfth place. Uh, wait, I, have they just, I thought they were supposed to put primes on. Maybe I was wrong. I thought they put primes on the car, but they put options on. I've got absolutely no grip. These must be used options. And I've been passed I've been passed by Yano Trulli. Oh my god. I bet the Italian fans absolutely loved that overtake as well. With Alonso up front for Ferrari and Yano Trulli overtaking the championship leader James Early. We'll send up the inside into the Ascari chicane to retain re reclaim that position. 
That's 12. There is a little bit of activity in the pit lane. My teammates just rejoining Please up the road. You, you can see him there. The We've passed Liotzi, so we're 11th. Uh, Rubens, let James pass for the championship. That's an order. That's a team order. He's no stranger to team orders and being second driver, so I'm sure this will be fine for him. Maybe around the outside of Curva Grande. Oh, maybe not. Thank you, Barrichello. Maybe he heard me talking smack about him. Good run here, though, down towards Parabolica. We'll head towards the inside for the corner. Under braking we go. And that's 10th place. Although Barrichello is trying to fight it back. I'll just squeeze him out wide there. I don't care about taking out my teammate. He tried to take me out with Curva Grande last lap. Oh, and this driver's rejoining. Potentially a couple more positions here to be had. Under braking into turn one. There's... Oh, Nico Rosberg. I've already made contact with him once today into this corner and make it twice as he's lost his uh, front wing end plate. And we're up to eight. Uh, this should be a very, very easy move. We don't even have DRS, but it doesn't matter. That's Timo Glock's seventh place. Becoming a Timo Glock eighth place and a James Early seventh place. That's a very slow moving car. It's D'Ambrosio. 22nd place. I'm surprised there's that many drivers left in the race. After the first couple of laps, everybody was so spread out. Loads of drivers into the pits. But surprisingly, only a couple of retirements at most. DRS on Paul DiResto here. As we close up to the Force India. We start another lap. We're pitting at the end of this lap anyway. But we'll move past our fellow British driver. Paul DiResto. Up the inside into turn one we go. We do manage to get it just about slowed down. And we're up into six. A very productive stint as we box from 6th place and rejoin in 11th behind Mark Webber oh no Mark Webber's going to close my championship lead by 1 point if it stays like this yeah. Webber into the pits so back up into the points as we reach halfway race distance finally a lot has happened the first 14 laps 8 seconds to my teammate Barrichello ahead and this is my net position now 10th place because everybody in front of me including myself as well uh, we need to make one more pit stop couple drivers in the pits there so we're up to eighth place i don't think we're pitting for another three laps even more drivers in on this lap i think we'll be back up to the top five yeah fifth place nice time for our final pit stop in this one lap 20 going for a uh, seven lap stint on the option tires to close out the race pitting from fifth place and rejoining down in 11th we've lost the position we're out in 11th place I have a feeling Weber undercut about five drivers and he's maybe in about seventh place now. Oh, that's... No. Yep, that's it. That's it. Uh, I've got too much of the curb on the inside of a... Uh, not Ascari. What's it called? Parabolica. And straight into the wall we go. And that's a retirement. That might be the first retirement of the season, actually. Heavy, heavy incident. Uh, unfortunately, we can't go back and have a look at it because the replay only lasts about three, three seconds, five seconds at most. Uh, but we are most definitely out of the race. It goes down as a DNF. It did not finish. But look at that for a result. Alonso wins for Ferrari. Michael Schumacher second with Jaime Algaswari in third place for Toro Rosso. And then Nico Rosberg in the second Mercedes. I was going to say Cora Kobayashi. Kamui Kobayashi rounding out the top five. Weber gets points. Vettel gets points. The rest are in eighth place. Sutton and Button complete the point scoring. Perez in 11th ahead of Lewis Hamilton not scoring points today. My teammate Barrichello 13th. Massa in the second Ferrari not scoring points. Then it's Petrov and Trulli. It's Antonio Liuzzi, Timo Glock, Kovalainen, and Karthikeyen and D'Ambrosio. 21 drivers finishing the race. Early, Heidfeld and Buemi all retiring from the race maybe you could say fernando alonso is the dark horse for the championship that win brings him quite close to hamilton and weber uh, the gap between early and weber remains the same because neither of them scored points unless i'm completely forgetting the result i'm recording this like the day after the race so i can't actually remember the result uh, but there you go we still lead quite comfortably onto the team's championship we do not lead comfortably. We do not lead at all. It's McLaren leading the way. Williams, Ferrari though, very close. And Red Bull also closing in. It could be a four-way fight for this championship. 
Well, unfortunately, that did not go to plan at all. The drive through penalty, the messy driving, the wrong strategy, and ultimately the crash, which meant we scored no points. And Weber does close the gap. He's now, I think, about 45 points, 44 points behind, maybe. He's still a distance behind. And we go on to Singapore in not the greatest run of form hopefully we can sort of bounce back and get back into the swing of things maybe a podium in singapore that would go down a treat thank you for watching make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and if you want to support the channel further consider becoming a channel member by clicking the join button below this video i'll see you in the next one goodbye